Hi everyone and welcome back to the Leeds career mode on FIFA. Um, I'm going to be playing through a bunch of games again off camera. I'm a bit sick right now. So I'm going to be playing through a bunch of games off camera again. Um, I'll present them to you in highlight form. I won't commentate over them or anything. And I'll be playing all the games up until January, all in this video. Um, so it won't be a very long one. Um, we do have a couple games to get through. So I won't mess around. I won't beat around the bush. Enjoy the highlights. So here we are, 1st of Jan. Um, let's let's go back through all the, the games, just a bit of a recap. We started with a 3-1 loss to Everton. You know, not obviously a very good result, but we, we, we did pretty well elsewhere. So um, we had a 2-2 draw with City. Obviously, we'd already secured first spot in the Europa League, so I'd simmed that game and a bunch of other games, so I do apologise about that. Um, but I simmed that one against Mulder. Um, we beat Burnley 3-0. Um, that was a really, really successful game. Then we simmed Sheffield United and Blackburn. We obviously got the wins there. Um, we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. Who really cares about that? We drew against Chelsea, which is a decent result. A point against Chelsea is a point nonetheless. And then we simmed and 1-2-1 and lost 2-1 against Burnley and Man City. Uh, now here we are in January. And we're looking we're looking all right in terms of you know standings and whatever um i'm not really sure what sort of business i'm going to be able to do i mean a couple of players have left the club we've sold liam cooper and leaf davis like you know great no one really cares <laughs> i'm kidding oh that's a bit harsh yeah no one really cares um in terms of <coughs> our position in the league obviously i want top four this season after our fifth place finish last season i want top four and I want to do well in the Europa League. I think, like, quarter to semi-finals of the Europa League would be good. Then again, if you're a top-four team, like, quality-wise in the Prem, you should really be getting close to going the distance in Europa. Mm, eh, debatable. Anyway, 
Um, we're doing well, obviously, third place right now. We've scored the second most goals in the league. Um, defensively, we've been eh. Romero's been a great signing, but I'm a bit I'm a bit up in the air on whether to play Urente or Robin Koch. Like they both have good games, they both have bad games. Um, Liverpool are t- currently top of the table, twelve points ahead of second place United. Um, Thirteen points ahead of us. It's it's interesting because we beat Liverpool. Liverpool have only dropped points on four occasions, only lost two of their games this Premier League campaign. And obviously, if we go back in the calendar, we were one of the teams that beat them. Um, If we go back a fair amount, it should be pretty close to the start of the season. Bottom left of your screen. Liverpool, third game of the season. We won 2-1 against them. Um, And it wasn't a very stressful match, to be honest. Um, We have a player chat. I missed that. Uh, Rodrigo's happy with the game time. That's really good. He's coming off the bench, so if he's happy with the game time, then you're laughing. We've currently got 30 mil in the bank. Um, In terms of upgrading the squad, in terms of sort of the assessment here in January, I'm not very impressed with James Ward-Prowse. You you may have noticed uh, he did score a banger. I think it was against Burnley. I can't remember, but he did score a banger in one of the games I just played. Um, It was really good, and Ward-Prowse does bring a lot going forward, but it's 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 going the other way. It's defensively. He is a liability. He's not agile enough. He's not quick enough. Valverde brings so much going forward and back. I'm not asking Ward Prowse to be a Valverde. I'm just saying he's not really that sort of quality. In saying that, I think I, I would never want to sell him. He's still a very valuable player. I'm just not sure if I see a permanent starting spot for him. I wouldn't mind upgrading... Stuart Dallas. Um, I, you look at someone like Benjamin Hendricks, who's five ratings lower than, than Ward Prowse. I prefer Hendricks like, as, a, as a player in the squad because Hendricks is actually a very, very good player. He's defensively and attackingly... That's not a word. Defensively good, and he attacks well. I'll, I'll keep it at that. Obviously, Furpo's fine. In terms of the squad, I'm happy with pretty much everyone, except I'd like a, another centre-back, and, you know, that's... It's not easy to come by, let's be honest. I wouldn't mind um, sort of getting a replacement starting centre mid for James Ward-Prowse, but I just don't see that happening, especially in January. I just don't see it happening. Um, Obviously, next season, I want to do something to this front line. I want to do something big. Obviously, Marlon's staying, but I just don't see a permanent spot for Jack Harrison in the team. And I I don't see a spot on the right side for Dan James really but like in saying that he, i think he's a top in he's top in assists in the actual premier league in this career mode so i don't see a point in shifting him or moving him on i might just get him trained up get him on a development plan because um he's obviously a very very good player and i you know he's done really well this season he's had a, he's had a much improved campaign since getting that starting spot four goals eight assists a 7.2 average rating is really really good for an 82 overall, he's grown by three halfway through the season. I have got some some scouting happening right now for a potential starting midfielder and a potential replacement winger. Obviously, I've had Fafana here for a while, so we could always try and get Wesley Fafana and bring him in as a centre-back rather than Koch or um, Urente and then sell one of them. Um, we've got Leon Bailey here that I listed as a potential winger. And then I've got three midfielders that I would be looking at as well. All for next season, of course, when we have more cash to spend. Um, but in terms of a January signing, I don't see why we don't just go in for Wesley Fofana. Obviously, I'm not going to try and do a swap deal. I am going to try and sell uh, one of Urente and Robin Koch. And if I'm honest, I'd rather keep Robin Koch. So I'm going to sell Diego Urente. Obviously, he's a great... Oh, do I even need to? Do I just drop him further down the pecking order? How much would he generate financially? No more than 18 million. What about Strauch? You're looking at about 10. Am I going to use Strauch as a backup? He's rotation. Urente is on importance. See, Urente will just get upset at game time. So there's no, there's no really feasible way that we can keep him at the club. Um, Our next game is against Tottenham. In the FA Cup, I wouldn't mind a cup run. I'll be honest. You know, obviously we're, we're we're putting a lot into the Europa League. We're putting a lot into the Premier League. But 
I'm not going to turn down an FA Cup run if it's, you know, if it's on the cards. Um, Llorente is pretty, pretty happy. Obviously, he's been benched for Christian Romero. Chris, Christian Romero? Romero. What's his first name? Hang on. I need to find this out. I forgot what Romero's first name is. Oh, my God. This is shocking. Yeah, Christian Romero. I'm terrible, guys. I'm just terrible. Um, but Fafana is a guy I would 100% be interested in bringing in. Um, so let's sim to this top, Tottenham game. Um, I, again, I would like a run. There's interest in Newhouse. Uh, he's not one of the top guys I was looking at. I was more in favor of someone like Sabitza who can sort of rotate a bit more with Ward Prowse. Um, I feel like Valverde and Tielemans would be a bit, it would be a little bit weird together, but I feel like Sabitza would be great in there. Um, again, we don't really need to think about that right now. We have, you know, have a couple of player chats and whatever. So um, we'll get into this game against Tottenham. Again, it's going to be in highlight form. I'm going to get through some more in highlight form, but I did want to just update you guys on the whole status of the club uh, since it's January. So we're here on transfer deadline day at the end of the January transfer window. Um, that was a very, very successful playthrough. Obviously, we simmed Chelsea and we simmed Coventry. I simmed the Chelsea game, just couldn't be bothered to play it. Um, we got the win anyway, so that just shows how strong we truly are as a squad. Um, clearly, getting a red card is a good idea, as Saints went down to 10 men and brought it back to 2-2 against us. And then we went to the Emirates and battered Arsenal 3-0 with 10 men. So, cool, I'll take it. We obviously beat Spurs. In the FA Cup as well, I simmed most of that game because I went 3-0 up. It was it was a great start. Um, as you can probably tell, no offers have come in yet for Diego Llorente. In terms of a transfer budget, we have 31 mil. Um, there's just no hope of going for Fafana. Um, and if we did, we'd be blowing too much money on him anyway. I just want to get Llorente gone. I don't know why it's that hard. 
EA for you to transfer list someone that you get offers for them. It took us like two months to get an offer for Calvin Phillips. If we don't get one here, I have to go in for the final with a swap. Because, oh, sorry. I do want him. They're not going to want 40 mil for him. They're going to want way more than that. He is not worth 40 mil. Um, so if I offer them Urente, who is actually <laughs> rating-wise the same ability, what are they saying? They won't even take him. So there's no, no even a point in doing it. That screen confuses me sometimes. I've shortlisted a couple more wingers that I would like in the team. Don't really know much about them until I get the scout reports back, but that's the next season. Um, it, it, that screen confuses me. Like, I think they're accepting it because they're not doing the whole thing that they used to do when they flat out rejected deals. So, you know, it is what it is, you know. It's just... We don't get Fofana, but hey, we might get him next year. I, I, I do want to actually do one thing. I just want to look for world-class players... All right, of literally any age, any age whatsoever with nothing on their contract. So that in the coming years can sort of help us potentially get some pre-contract deals. All right, so um, I don't know. I mean, I guess we're just going to get through deadline day. You know, if we're going to get an offer for Urente, I bet it will be like after the window ends or something stupid like that. Um, but we can still accept it. It just means he won't go until next next year. Um, and that means you can't bring in someone like Fafada until next year. I don't know. It's annoying. You know, you, you transfer this someone, you really should get offers, especially if they're a decent player. But hey, it is what it is. The transfer window is closed. Um, that is going to do it for this episode. But next episode, I want to not finish off the seat. Ooh half a season an episode question mark i don't know if i could do that half a season an episode is excessive but we've only got two games the next month so if we do i hope you guys don't mind the highlight form if you hate it then tell me please but so far everyone loves it so just expect me to stay with it we've got a really good run in west ham bournemouth uh leicester palace norwich newcastle so the next two months three months even i mean bar maybe tottenham in the next three months, we've got one game against the top six outfit. That is awesome. And then we have Liverpool, Sheffield United, Aston Villa, Man U. We have a really good end to the season fixture-wise. We could actually go like top three, maybe even top two. I don't think we'll win the league. I think Liverpool are just too far ahead of us. And I think maybe the Manchester clubs might pull away. But at the moment, we could get some good results in our next few games. So I think I could get close to finishing off the season in the next episode in highlight form. Um, I would say let, let me know what you guys think, but this video is going to be out, like, I don't know, from when I'm recording this in like two or three days. Because I bulk record because I have to do other things. So when I have time, I just bulk record, bulk edit, and then release it sort of scheduled. Um, so long story short, if you guys give me feedback, I'm probably not going to see it until like three episodes um, released down the track. Nonetheless, thank you very much for watching. I, I really, really do appreciate it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, then really, really, yeah, just give me feedback. Be brutal. Um, if you enjoyed it, why would you be brutal? I'm so dead. Thank you for watching nonetheless. <laughs> like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.